send it to whoever couldn't make it. Um, my name's Raquel. A lot of you already know me. Um, I do sales and marketing, um, and I'm kind of running this relaunch program, and I hope it's been helpful to all of you. Um, you should have gotten your week two email um, yesterday. If you didn't get it, please let me know either via the chat here or email me at raquelegift.com, and I'll send it to you. Um, a few things before we get started. Um, today we have Pat, Pat Hart, who does enterprise sales at Yifty. He's an expert at sales, and he's going to be talking about our new somebody else joined. He's going to be talking about our new patron card, which is the no e-delivery fee system for bulk purchases, as well as ways to pitch your community card for holiday gifts for local employers. Um, I also, more people, great. Um, I also really quick before um, starting with Pat, um, I wanted to remind you that we're offering merchant engagement campaigns for free to anyone who's a part of this relaunch program. So if you're a part of this relaunch program, we'll set up a merchant campaign for you where we send six emails, one every week for six weeks, to your merchants with training materials, tips on how to market the program, and just a lot of stuff to get your merchants engaged and helping you in market. So, and also merchant training. So if you have any questions or if you're interested um, in learning more about that or in having us set up a merchant campaign for you, an email campaign, email me at Raquel at and we can talk about it and I can show you the email. Again, we're offering it for free. And we've seen that getting the merchants involved really, really helps boost your community card. Um, so today we're gonna be focusing on bulk purchases, um, but I didn't want to completely forget about BOGOs. So I'm gonna have a really quick overview on BOGOs and then we're gonna hand it over to Pat and he's gonna talk about bulk purchases. Um, let me share my screen really quick. So. Um, most of you know about BOGOs, they're buy one, get one promotions. Um, they do really, really well. Um, we've seen up to eight times return on investment with these. The holidays are coming up. So besides getting bulk purchases and getting your local employers involved in sending your gift card out as holiday gifts, we do recommend that you also try to run a buy one, get one promotion. A lot of people use federal funds like ARPA funds or other grants, but we also see local employers and um, local credit unions, local banks funding these. Um, the same pitch that Pat is going to give you, basically, kind of different, but not pitching for employee rewards, but pitching them to support your community um, is a similar pitch that you can use for buy one, get once. Um, we have this presentation that I'm going to send you at the end of the week with the recording for this webinar. Um, it talks about BOGOs. It talks about who funds them. Um, you can set whatever terms you like. You can do buy 25, get 10, or you can buy do buy 25, get 25. Um, the bonus cards can have expiration dates so you can recoup your funds. So let's say you run a Black Friday BOGO. You can have them expire right after the holidays and that way people are in a rush to use them. And then the gift card that they purchase that doesn't expire, they can use throughout the rest of the year. So um, the other thing that I want to show you about BOGOs is that you can recognize your sponsors in exchange for their generosity. So. There's a lot of ways to recognize sponsors. You can do it here underneath your image, your background image. You can have a banner on your background image. You can have it, their logos on your, commun on your community card. Um, you can have their logo on your in-store marketing materials. Um, you can do a press release temp. You can also do some social media stuff to recognize your sponsors. So, we're going to focus on bulk purchases, but I didn't want to completely forget about buy one, get ones. I'm going to be sending you this presentation, and I'm also going to be sending you some more information on BOGOs. If you are interested in launching a BOGO, what we need are the funds, a quick start, which I'll send you the link, as well as the banner that goes up top on the page. Um, so yeah, I know that was a super quick, fast forward presentation on BOGOs, but I'll give you all of the details in an email because I don't want to take up too much of your time, of Pat's time, so you can enjoy his presentation. All right, so Pat, take it away. Thank you. Thank you very much, Raquel. Um, please don't refer to me as an expert and thus raise the bar on my presentation. I'd appreciate that moving forward. Um, let me get the, the, uh, the screen shared for you guys so you can see what I'm looking at here. And we'll walk you through enterprise sales and patron accounts. So. Um, to give you a little background, a quick introduction on myself, I've been in enterprise sales for um, nearly 15 years, predominantly in the healthcare sector. I've worked with software, I've worked with medical device, pharmaceutical organizations. Most recently before Yifty, I was in biopharma. 
So I would do want us to have a degree of expertise in this particular field. So we can dig into that right now. Um, I'll walk you through a little bit about my methodology towards the end. But for now, let's talk about the market. It's a huge market. Um, like you're looking at on that, you're not looking at it. Now you're looking at it. So huge potential for enterprise sales, guys. Last year, we did about 25% of all of our comm card sales um, in enterprise, and that's without any reach out. So you know, now I'm going to be kind of a resource for you. So we didn't have any dedicated resources. This is going to be a great way to actually sell the program. So enterprise is spending, you know, 60 billion on gift cards per year. But all that is going to groups like Amazon, you know, Starbucks, the big national brands. So they're not going to buy individual small business cards, but they do buy community cards because there are a lot of local choices, right? Something for everyone. And they send the message that they care about the community, right? In this day and age, everybody wants to talk about how much they're doing for the community. You know, there's full disclosure on everything. You can't hide behind it. So you have to show that you're doing a good job and doing right by the folks in the communities in which you live. So who buys them? Well, your typical buyers are going to be your local companies. You can see hospitals, schools, universities, um, real estate firms, law firms, nonprofits, banks, credit unions. Uh, just to give you a couple examples, you know, Quicken Loans has done over a million dollars. American Financial or 500K, that's in Cincinnati. Um, schools, you know, Kent State bought 80K worth to their uh, for their faculty and their staff. They're doing it again this year. These are great programs. We even have American Weather Techs. American Weather Techs, that's exterior modeling. They spent nearly 20K, all the way down to groups like Super Holiday Tours who bought 10K just for the folks who booked travel tours with them. So anybody and everybody is a potential um, enterprise purchase for this. So there's a lot of folks to do reach out to. There's a lot of folks to really try to get involved. And why are they buying them? Well, they're unique, they're unexpected. And to give you a little personal anecdote here, if there's one thing that I've learned you know, since joining Yifty over the past several months, is that the only reason we're not bigger and that we don't have programs in every single city is because there's just a lack of education, guys. People don't know that there are alternatives to things like Amazon or things like Starbucks, that programs like Yifty exist at all. So uh, the biggest goal is just to get the word out because every single time I get to tell someone about this program, every phone call I make where I've connected with somebody, you know, whether that group's even able to move forward or not, um, they love the idea. And the phrase always gets bandied about, you know, I've never heard of that before or something very similar. So um, again, like I said, that's every single phone call. Um, number two, ooh, where am I going? Number two, they support their employees' favorite local businesses. That's fairly straightforward. Um, everybody likes to go to the spots that they're comfortable going to, that they've gone to, you know, it's in the community, the staples. Three, you know, your recipients get to choose where to spend them and they have fun doing it. You know, they're out in the community. They've got a multitude of choices as to where they can go. Um, they can get to know that they're doing something better than, you know, buying a deal of the day on Amazon Prime just for that 20 second thrill of getting a package sent to their house, which we've all done and we all know it. Uh, and number four, you know, the enterprises get to show off their support for the local community. Like I said, you know, there's not a business out there that, that doesn't want to leap at the chance to talk about how much good they're doing. So there's a lot of reasons, a lot of very easy reasons to talk to these companies about these enterprises about as to why this is a great idea. So. The patron card. This is new. This is the this is the reason we're all here. There's no fees on this for qualified enterprises. Um, this is why we, we've announced these patron accounts where there are no e-delivery fees. And these accounts are only available for enterprise customers, right? Not consumers. So they're for gifts. They're for rewards, awards, promotions. They're not for self-use. So if you're an individual consumer, of course, you can still buy these. But as the organization under that patron account, you cannot purchase that one. Now, here's how to get them for your customers. So you're gonna to go to your individual page. You're gonna click on this more info button. That's gonna pull up this next slide here where it says fill out form. You're gonna submit that information. It's gonna come straight to us. It's gonna come straight to me. I'm gonna reach out to that person. I'm gonna set up that meeting. I'm gonna close that deal. We're gonna get a ton of money into the community. That's how it's gonna work. Bing, bang, boom. Now, uh, that's assuming you have somebody who's qualified, but we'll get to that in a hot minute. So if you've got names of folks that you're interested in, um, what I can do is I can send them over a, a sample comm card, one of yours. You know, obviously we'll pay for that. Little free gift never hurt, grease the palms type of thing. We'll follow up with them. We'll see if we can bring them on board. Um, also, what we'll do is if you're going to have a board meeting coming up and you want to talk to some of these folks about this, we'll send you a couple slides. We can help you with some customization. Um, but other than that, you've got my information right there. If you want to reach out directly and set up an independent meeting, always happy to help. Um, and then to get into a little bit of how I'm targeting folks. 
So we're looking very industry specific right now where we've had the most success. We're looking at the financial sector, you know, academic institutions, the real estate, the healthcare and manufacturing. Now I do all the outreach for you. So once you've given me these customers or once you've given me these prospects, I should say, um, in the attempt to turn them into customers, I'm going to be talking to them. I'm going to be emailing them. I'm going to be calling them. If you don't have names, I'm good with just the business. I've got software that I use to, to ferret out these uh, these phone numbers and email addresses. So I can certainly do that work on, on your behalf. Um, so who are the folks that I want to speak with, right? A lot of these folks are in HR. They're in benefits or rewards or community engagement or outreach. Um, they're going to be wearing different hats on smaller companies. Sometimes you've got that 50 to 200 size employee company where the HR person does all three of those things. Sometimes you get into those larger enterprise organizations, 500 to 1,000 up, and you've got, you know, it's very segmented. It's very compartmentalized, very specialized. So there could be, you know, 20 different people with 20 different functions, all within HR, and you got to find that one person. Again, let me let me uh, shoulder that burden for you. I'll do all that work. I'll find that person. All you have to do is get me the name of the company. So what are the key talking points? And if you guys do want to do any of this yourselves, this is kind of what this slide is for. It's kind of a, a DIY type of thing if you're interested. Um, the key talking points are obviously that it helps local merchants and small businesses, right? Always a good thing to start with that. Giving twice. This is a line that I've, I've started to use a lot. It gets great impact. Um, ultimately, when it comes to benefits and rewards for your team, you get to give once to your team members. It's the same thing as that gift card, as that Amazon card, as that Starbucks card, but you get to give again when they spend it because the money goes right back into the community. So it's a great way to tie it all together. Um, employee appreciation, spot bonuses, holiday gifts. You know, that one's, that's going to, it's kind of a, a, a par for the course sort of line, but you got to mention it because when you're speaking to those benefits folks, they want to know why is it relevant? Why is it relevant that we adopt this program? Great way to help the little guy. That's always my favorite way to tie it back around after I go through my pitch. Um, and then, you know, talking about the merchants saying, listen, this program is already established. We're not asking you to create anything. We're asking you to join the movement. We've already got, you know, 120 merchants. We've already got 50 merchants. We already got 20 merchants. However many folks are on board, it's great for them to know that, all right, there's already a presence here. We don't have to go out of our way to, to do anything particular. We just have to join. All we have to do is join. So, that's sort of um, where I'm coming from in the patron account and the enterprise world. And that pretty much, oh, how did that get there? Oh my gosh, oh, do I go Patriots love? I must have, must not have mentioned that I grew up outside of Boston. But if you guys have any questions, um, let's, let's, let's talk about it now. Fire away. Don't be shy. Yeah, so we have time for questions. If you have questions for Pat about enterprise leads, if you have questions about bolos or just in general, any questions, um, Donna's here too. So, you know, you can quiz her on community cards. Um, but any questions or any issues that you've been running into when reaching out to local employers or anything like that, um, we'd love to hear about it. I can start. <laughs> Yeah, um, go for it. I, so I just, I kind of had to run and check get the door for a second and then I came back. So I came in midstream. Um, so did you say if we fill out that form, you'll reach out to our large employers and talk to them about, yeah, about the volume discount program? Is that, do I understand that, that correctly? So do we need that's to correct. let them know you're going to reach out or? Um, if you let them know, that's fantastic. That gives me a, a much easier foot in the door. But if I have to do it cold, I'm happy to do that as well. But yeah, that's all it is. You're basically just submitting a lead for for me to reach out to on your behalf. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And let me let me add to that, guys. So I've had meetings with a lot of community organizers, and I'll be honest with you. You know, we have great conversations. They get really excited about utilizing me as a resource for that enterprise reach out. They'll give me a. They'll talk about how they're going to give me a list of five or six communities, and they'll make some introductions, and then I don't hear from them. So ultimately, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working with the folks who get me that information, because those are the folks that I want to help, the ones who are actively engaged in this program and who want uh, who want me to do that reach out and try to establish a, you know, a good pipeline of enterprise organizations. So if you're, if you've got the time and you're willing to send me those organizations, then I'm absolutely willing to, to spend my day reaching out and trying to get a hold of them and drive some business your way. Also, um, Pat, they don't have to fill out this form for each one either. They could just send you an email message with some names, of right? Yeah, yep, absolutely. Absolutely. That's a great point, Donna, and I can't believe I didn't say that. <laughs> I got your back. <laughs> uh, 
Um, any other questions? No, I think I think this is great. You guys always go above and beyond. So um, I know I, I could use some help with this. So I'm looking forward to reconnecting, Pat. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, if you if you just if you want to send us messages individual or, or email us specific questions, you know, offline, obviously we're happy to field those. And you know, if you want to jump on a quick meeting, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or however long you need, of course we're happy to help as in that way as well. Thank you. I know you all saw Pat's email on the presentation, but I just put it in the chat in case you guys want to copy paste it, send an email right now. I'm kidding, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely use this resources, this human resource that we have now that you can use, which is Pat, um, because it's great to have a salesperson working for you. Um, and again, I'm going to send you more infos on BOGOs. And similarly, when you're reaching out to these local employers, tell them, you know, you're going to be supporting your community. You're going to be the, the hometown hero. And like Pat said, no local employer wants to not be the hometown hero, you know? So they all want to be a part of that and be in the limelight. And, you know, everybody says, oh, they're so great and stuff like that in town. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? Maybe about enterprise sales, maybe about something else. So the other thing I would add, Raquel, is uh, if you want some help, pitching sponsors for bonus programs, we are more than happy to hop on the phone or a Zoom with you um, or take or do that for you as well. Pat's focused on enterprise, but uh, we're also happy to help with um, BOGOs. So, if, and um, as Raquel mentioned, typical sponsors. So actually there is still some COVID relief money floating around out there. So you might wanna ask your city if that has all been allocated. The timeline on that is it has to be allocated by the end of 2024, so a whole year from now, and it has to be spent by 2026. So there are still pockets of money out there, quite large pockets of money. And uh, if you can get some of that allocated to the program, we can multiply it by up to eight times in terms of the consumer purchases and the open overspend and just getting all that foot traffic into the stores. So it's a huge ROI on the um, federal funds that have been available for COVID relief. And we have all kinds of, you know, stats that we can back you up with and share with your city office of economic development. If, uh, if you'd like us to. Great. Um, anybody else, any other questions? Nope. All right. Awesome. So, um, Look out for an email from me later this week with information on BOGOs, a presentation, what we need to launch that, um, as well as the recording of this webinar. If you have any questions or if you want to set up some one-on-one -on -one time to talk about anything at all, um, let me know, Raquel at EFT.com. You all have my email already because I email you all the time. Um, so <laughs> um, we have a new merchant kit for merchant training, by the way. Um, Look out in your emails. It's going to go out probably today or tomorrow. So you'll get to see what it's about and maybe send it to your merchants so that you can get them ready for the holidays. Um, it's a good idea to start sending maybe a once a month email until the end of the year um, with the new merchant kit, merchant training materials, just so they're ready to redeem your gift card in the holidays with all these amazing bulk purchases that you're going to get thanks to Pat and thanks to your hard work and the BOGOs. So there's going to be lots of money circulating. So we want your merchants to be ready. Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining. Bye. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you.